Every year at CES, I love to stop by the Shure booth to see the latest and cool new consumer microphones and headphones. Laura Davidson, lead retail market development specialist at Shure, is my favorite person to explain them to us. Always stop by her booth. We couldn't do it in person this year, but we're still going to have her on. So welcome back to the show, Laura. It's great to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. So I was super excited during Pepcom when I got to see the latest consumer microphone that you guys have come out with. And I think it solves all of the right problems or, well, the problems aren't right, but it's the right solution to the problems <laughs> we have in uh, in home office microphones. Can you tell us about it? Yes, absolutely. So we showed off the new MV5C and that's something that we launched back in October, but we specifically launched it for people who are working from home because the MV5, its predecessor, which actually still exists, is specifically used for music and podcasting. MV5C stands for home conferencing. So this is a mic that is going to eliminate the background sounds, the sounds coming in from you know up above, poorly treated rooms, the rooms that we're all sitting in. And what it's really made to do is let you be heard as opposed to relying on the onboard mic of your computer or laptop. So a lot of uh, USB microphones replace your internal microphone, but talk to me more about what it's doing with the, the room sounds. Yeah. So it has voice isolation, basically. So what it's doing is focusing the microphone or the microphone itself is focused on specifically speech applications. So it's going to reject any sounds coming in from the rear and the sides and really focus on the voice. And it's actually specifically made for speech. Oh, okay. Fantastic. So not so much for trucks driving by and fire engines and dogs barking, more for for speech. Yes. So it's made for speech, but it will block out those things like dogs barking and, and fire engines driving by just in the inherent design of the mic, because it is a dyna- or, excuse me, a condenser microphone with a cardioid pattern. So nice tight pattern and rejects things coming in from other surfaces of the mic. Whereas your laptop mic is more of an omnidirectional mic. So meaning omni, meaning all, it's going to pick up everything. Right, right. So for those who don't know about what cardioid mics mean, if you think about the shape of a heart uh, that you draw as a valentine that's got the little dip on the front, on the top of it, that's the side away from your voice where basically no sound gets in. And then as the as you come around to the front, you get the most sound coming in, correct? That's right. And cardioid coming from cardio and hence the heart-shaped pattern. So yes. Yeah, yeah. So um, describe what it what it looks like for us. Uh, you can show it to the video audience, but describe it too, if you would, to the because I think yeah, you've got it right there. I do. I have it right in front of me in the shot for those of you playing along at home. Um, it is a small ball-shaped microphone. Uh, it has a USB port on the back for plugging out and into your devices, um, into your computer specifically. And it has a headphone jack uh, on the back, which I love because if you wanted to monitor in real time, you can plug in a set of headphones hear yourself talking as well as the person you're talking to, which is key. So that's a really cool feature. And it's not- You actually can monitor your voice. You can, yeah. And you can, it comes disabled, which is actually better for those of you who are not audio people. If you want to just plug in a microphone and know you're going to sound great and then keep listening on your speakers that you're accustomed to, like your laptop speakers, you don't have to do anything. Plug in the mic, it's going to take over the mic and sound awesome. But if you're like me- and you want to hear yourself, hear how you're sounding, hear how the other person's sounding, that's where those headphones come into play. And you just push and hold the mode button when you're powering up the mic, and then you can access that headphone option. Oh, that's fantastic. So I use a uh, Shure MVI USB interface. Awesome. Uh, What a workhorse. I've been trying to move to Thunderbolt, but I've just gone back to the Shure MVI because this thing just always works. It's so easy. And it's got the headphone jack on the back. So um, I wish everybody monitored their own voice so that they could tell that, A, they're <laughs> muted. <laughs> right? Yes. If you can't hear one. your voice, you're muted. Or, yes. you know, B, there's some other extraneous sound that you don't realize is going on. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yes, so like, um, like my daughter's Zoom call, which is happening in the other room, which hopefully you can't hear because of the MV5C. Oh, are you actually using the MV5C right now? I am. I oh, am. wow. That, that sounds fantastic. Thank you. I've noticed another thing when people are using internal microphones, there tends to be uh, more problems with, well, the microphones are not uh, full duplex. Mm. Uh, So people, when they they start to talk, there's still audio coming out of the speakers and going back into the mic and and you, you, you miss what people are saying as a result. 
Yeah, especially when you use something like Zoom, where they have these great features built in called echo cancellation, you know, which are made to make people's lives easier if they know nothing about audio, but they can, yeah, cause some cancellation of themselves by just the nature of the beast. Your voice is going through the speakers, coming out of the speakers, canceling itself out, feeding back, vice versa. So yeah, so having that external mic, we're really just, just, we can't emphasize enough how important it is to take that step. Right, right. So um, can you demonstrate for us, you did it during Pepcom, what it yeah. sounds like going through, uh, you're on a MacBook Pro, is that correct? I am, yes. And supposedly the MacBook Pro, the newer ones anyway, are supposed to have studio quality microphones, which are, <laughs> to be fair, they're the best microphones I've ever heard on a on a laptop. Yes. But compare that to this, uh, the Shure MVI is only $99, right? We're not talking about a $500 microphone. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The MV5C is 99 bucks right out of the box. It sounds great as opposed to this, which is my MacBook Pro. You can hear my mouse now. It's all clanky. If I had to, you know, click on the computer itself, you're hearing all the things, the reverberance of the room. If my HVAC, which is right here, was on, you'd be hearing that as opposed to this, which is the MV5C. And so you have less noise, less handling, you know, you're just, you're much more focused. Your sound is much more focused. Yeah. It, it sounds, it sounds richer overall. It sounds, there's depth to your voice. Your voice was kind of blending into the background with the the echoing of the room. Right. And it's also, I think a lot of people think, well, why would I need to do that? It's not just for your benefit. It's for the benefit of the people who are on those millions of Zoom calls with you every day, because <laughs> it's really fatiguing to listen to somebody whose voice sounds watery, watery, underwater, garbled, et cetera. So do your friends a favor, do your coworkers a favor, do your spouse or your partner a favor. If you're screaming across the dining room, hoping that your, your colleagues can hear you, they probably can't get an external mic. That's, that's true life story for my neighbor. That's why I say, because <laughs> he was <laughs> yeah. shouting across the dining room. Maybe I, I, you really want to buy this for your friends and family, yes, coworkers, you know, you really do. This- because you're the one who has to listen to it. It's funny you should use that exact phrase because right as you were about started that sentence, I was going to talk about uh, Dr. Father or Father uh, Roderick uh, does podcasting. And I remember many years ago, like 10 years ago, he said, bad audio is fatiguing. It is. It was that exact word that you said. It's you ever tune into a podcast and, and the levels are off or there's some noise in the background and you just you feel exhausted trying yeah. to you have yeah. to you have to expend effort trying to hear. And that's you not do. if your message getting across is what you really want. So having a better microphone makes a big difference. It does. It now, does. you mentioned USB. Uh, I saw in the uh, uh, at the uh, Sure website that uh, this comes with the USB-C cables or USB cables, USB-C and USB-A. Yes, correct. And then uh, what is the interface into the mic itself? It's micro USB. Micro USB. Okay. Yes. So you're still going to make us figure out which way to turn that connector. <laughs> I know, I know. But we wanted to get this out in a timely manner because it was so relevant right now. So that's why we were able to pivot so quickly and create the MV5C from the existing MV5. Otherwise, we'd have to retool it. So uh, gotcha. yes, gotcha. it's micro. Now, it also comes in, it's in its own stand, correct? It is, yeah. So it has this cool stand. This is how it goes. So Some it's a people... metal circle with kind of an arc coming up. It looks it looks futuristic. I like it. Yeah, thank you. And so you can also screw it into, I don't have one handy, but something like a Manfrotto Pixie tripod stand. Okay, It'll so it's screw got a into quarter that. 20 screw on it on top Correct. so you could put it at any height. Yeah, and you can also sit it directly on the desktop. It's got a little flat spot so it, it will sit. <laughs> As long as you don't have a cat to come knock it over. Yeah, the cat would definitely think it's a fun toy. Yeah, so <laughs> that's we're not responsible for that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Now, you guys also have some noise-canceling, Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones you wanted to talk about. Yeah, we do. So these are the Aonic 50s, and this is the new uh, color variant. So we have them in brown and black, and now this awesome white color, which I'm kind of obsessed with. Uh, they are noise-canceling, Bluetooth, And what I like about them is this tactile touch control. For those of you not able to see me, there's a switch that you actually use your finger on. So you're not swiping or tapping or hoping something's actually working. You feel it when A and C is turned on. Um, And as well as your control buttons for your volume and activating the voice assist. Uh, It gives you 20 hours of battery life, uh, folds flat and has the nice little marks on the inside so you can see which ear to put it on. So there's no guesswork there. And they just sound incredible. I mean, anything we make sounds great, but these are, 
I love them. I'm obsessed. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. They look big. They look big and soft and squishy and the headband they looks are. soft and squishy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they do look big, but on my, that was to scale for those playing along at home. Um, but yeah, they're really, really comfy to wear for long periods of time because we make headphones for mastering and mixing applications. We know that comfort is so important. And because these are for people who are traveling and, and listening to music at, you know, their own leisure, we don't, we want it to be a nice experience all around, sound great and feel great. I personally choose my headphones based on how they feel, not on how they sound. That is like okay. my number one criteria. Because if I'm going to be wearing them for four or five hours a day while I'm working, yeah. then I need them to feel good. That is the number one thing. It doesn't matter how good they sound if they feel bad. <laughs> the second criteria is how they sound. That, so that makes sense. Yeah. Do they come with a case? They do. Hold on a second. <laughs> I have one right here. Not that we're mocking um, uh, Apple at all there. Okay. So, yes, they come with a case, which is is a little big, but I love it because it just slides right in my backpack. It's thin. So I like okay, that. So it's thin, but it's now hold it back towards your head. It looks like it's the size of a dinner plate, but it's more eh, a little <laughs> bigger than your head. It is. It is yeah. big. It is a larger size, but here it is with the headphones, the black headphones inside and comes with a cable. Sorry for the zip or the velcro. You don't have to pay $30 extra for the cable. That's you weird. don't, you don't. I know. Imagine that. So yeah, you're charging cable and, um, yeah, your listening cable. So you can listen to it wired, should you so desire. All right, great. And uh, how much is the Ionic 50 Bluetooth noise-canceling headphones? Um, they are $399. $399. So right and in actually, the price we point just point. Well, we had a price drop. So actually, I'm going to confirm. Don't quote me on that yet. Oh, Let's do some exciting. I know. It here. But wait. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, for the holidays, we did. And it was very exciting because... They're awesome and we want everyone to experience them. But I just don't want to give Ooh, you the wrong I see 349 price. on your website. That's it. That's right. So they started 399 at CES last year. They are 349. I just wanted to make sure. So all right, that's great. So if you plug them in wired, then uh you would be able to use them for podcasting. Yeah. <laughs> for actually or listening to a Zoom call. You wouldn't get that lag that you get with Bluetooth. Correct. Correct? Yes. All right. Oh, and they have communication on them too. So you can take calls, but yeah, for podcasting, there is that inherent latency of Bluetooth, but it hasn't been too bad. I've, I use them on, on calls during the day, yeah, but yeah. I don't feel like listening to my speakers anymore. Right. It's just, if you're monitoring yourself, you'll Correct. go insane. Yes, you will. <laughs> you will with the little latency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. So you said for taking calls, you don't mean there's a, there isn't a built-in mic on them, is there? There is. Yes. Oh, there is. Oh, yes. okay. Of course. Yeah, Very so cool. you can take calls right there. All right. Well, cool. Yeah. Well, th this is fantastic. I love the stuff at Sure. I always love what you guys have, and uh, and I appreciate you coming on the show. If people want to find out more about the Sure products, they go to? Sure.com, S-H-U-R-E.com. All right. Well, thank you so much, Laura. This has been fantastic. I'm excited. I'm especially excited about that microphone. I have a feeling I'm going to stocking stuff for that bad boy to everybody I know. I did. My father-in-law got one this year. So two thumbs up. <laughs> Thank All you right, for having for, me. All right. Hopefully see you in person next year. Definitely.